Hey, welcome back to my channel. Here I will discuss oral surgery MCQ and picture based questions. First question you have to identify this instrument. You can see it is a surgical instrument and the end of the instrument is toothed. So you should know the name of this instrument and the function. Now this toothed instrument is named as Alice tissue forcep. It is a surgical instrument that is used in many procedures also called as Alice clamp. The Alice tissue forcep is a surgical instrument with sharp teeth used to hold or grasp heavy tissue. It is also used to grasp fascia and soft tissues such as breast or bowel tissue. Alice tissue forcep can cause damage so they are mainly used in tissue where the tissue about to be removed. So this instrument is important for your exam purpose. You should know the toothed instrument tissue holding forcep. The name is Alice tissue forcep. The clue is lies in the beak or toothed. Next question same type of instrument this is also a tissue holding instrument but here you can see the end is non toothed or smooth smooth okay so what is the name of this instrument you have to identify this instrument the answer is this is Babcock baby tissue forceps or you can say Babcock tissue forceps it contains extra delicate jaws that can be used to grasp delicate tissues or structures like the ovaries the forceps generally have a smaller jaw jaw width and shorter overall length than the standard pattern the shorter length may provide better control or ability to work closer to the body so this is Babcock baby tissue forceps to the actual Babcock tissue forceps, the uh, shape is the same, but the length is little bit bigger th than this uh, particular instrument. So this is Babcock baby tissue forceps, and the clue lies in the beak. It is non-toothed, and Alice is toothed. So Alice and Babcock, you have to understand the difference. This is for delicate structures. In case of oral surgery, we will deal with mucosa and the delicate structures. This is the old question from my previous video. For recapitulation, I uh, put this question. You have to identify these two laryngoscope blades. The answer is you can see the first one, the straight angle, the straight. Um, uh, blade that is Miller blade and the curved blade is Macintosh blade so the straight one is Miller blade of laryngoscope and the second one is Macintosh blade that is curved next question is also recapitulation from the uh, other my video the the area the neck of the condyle is the target area of Gauguet's technique of mandible and anesthesia. Now, next toxicity of local anesthesia is reversed by option A, I, B, epinephrine, B, naloxone, C, barbiturates, and D, sodium bicarb. So, the toxicity of local anesthesia is reversed by <laughs> IV barbiturates. The answer is IP barbiturates. Next question The common complication of the local anesthesia prilocaine is loss of taste, acranulocytosis, hepatic dysfunction, methemoglobinemia. This is a common question. The common complication of prilocaine is methemoglobinemia. Next question. So this is a link. You have to type this HTTP 
testmouse.com and the particular number 6010230 after watching this video this is a set of questions i have selected 10 mcq exam from all the subjects so give this test free this is free uh, test actually and comment your view or score or whatever in the comments box so i think you can write down or just pause this video to write down the address this is a very interesting uh, 10 mcqs i have selected for you so and next question an effective hand sanitizer contains at least what percentage of alcohol to kill the coronavirus and other germs 30% 45% 60% 80% so hand sanitizer contains which percentage of alcohol 30 45 60 80 the answer is 60% next question staying apart from other people when you have been exposed to the coronavirus is called physical distancing isolation quarantine some questions i have selected from the coronavirus topic not related to oral surgery but i think these are also important you should know so here the point is the main focus is that the patient or whoever is not diagnosed as a he or she is not diagnosed as a coronavirus patient he or she just exposed to coronavirus and what type of uh, thing you can do with him or uh, what is recommendation physical distancing what is physical distancing what is isolation what is quarantine you have to know so in case of exposed people quarantine is the answer quarantine is the answer so you have to understand the difference between quarantine and isolation a person who has been exposed to an infectious illness might be under quarantine to wait and see if they will become sick and you know what is physical distancing it is uh, staying at least 6 feet apart from someone to avoid spreading disease isolation is keeping someone sick with covid-19 apart from other patient in a healthcare setting so isolation must be in the healthcare setting and it is keeping someone sick with covid-19 who is actually infected for those it is isolation and it should be in healthcare setting so this is the difference between quarantine and isolation now home task what is medajet this home task and uh, you, you should comment what is medajet in comment box thank you very much for patience listening this small video we'll see you next video thank you